welcome to the second vlog here on my new channel. If you are visiting for the first time, my name is Christina. I am currently 32 weeks pregnant. I wanted to share with you all my third trimester routine. It's a bit crazy because lack of sleep is a symptom that most women experience in their third trimester. It's just prepping me for when baby comes. Let's just be real. It's been a little rough, but I've had to adapt, which is crazy because I really am a creature of habit and routine. Before I got pregnant, I had a very strict 5 a.m. routine. So I loved my morning routine. I know it's, it's very rigid and strict, but I thrived in that environment. It's such a... <laughs> yeah, in the beginning, I did struggle with the fact that my life is already changing and the baby's not even here. In every trimester, my first, second, and now my third, I've had to learn to adapt because that's just how motherhood is going to be. It's gonna be very spontaneous. Nothing is set in stone. Things happen left and right. I think before I'd wake up maybe once or twice in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, but now it's been like three, four times. And because I am a light sleeper, I tend to stay up. It's very hard for me to go back to sleep. I, okay, so what happens is I go to sleep around 10, 11 p.m. And then I wake up around 2 a.m. to use the bathroom. And if I can't go back to sleep, I just immediately get up. Instead of just tossing and turning in bed and wasting time, I just immediately get up and I either go to my computer and start editing or working on something that I would be working on during the day. And so when that happens, I tend to stay up till 4 a.m., 5 a.m. And then I go back to sleep and wake up around 8 to 9 a.m. And so I wake up, make breakfast, um, I work a little, and then I have lunch. And after I have lunch, um, most days I do take a mid-afternoon nap and so I will sleep somewhere between 1 to 2 till like 3, 4. So I do get a nap in the middle of the day. So it's a very, uh, <laughs> it's surprisingly working for me. Um, it's a little chaotic but um, you know like I said I just have to adapt. Now the reason why I'm not getting as much sleep is because I am just super uncomfortable. At least in your third trimester it gets a little bit more strict because you do have a bigger belly. So your side is the most ideal position to sleep in. Um, but at some point in my second trimester, I learned that sleeping on your left side is ideal. There's optimal blood flow because there's a large vein that runs parallel. I think the vein is called IVC, inferior vena cava. It runs parallel to your spine on the right side. So if you're sleeping on your right side, then the baby could like things there are kind of like laying on top of that vein and there isn't optimal blood flow also if you are sleeping on your right hand side there's pressure on your kidney and livers and i was randomly reading on a blog that when you are sleeping on your right hand side and there is pressure on those organs that that can lead to swollen hands and feet do not quote me on any of this i am not a doctor i am just sharing with you all just a little bit of research that i found and things that i've read in books but there isn't anything wrong with sleeping on your right hand side uh, if anything you need to pay attention to how your body feels sure enough in my second trimester i did retreat to my left hand side because i noticed that when i would lay on my right that there was like discomfort and pain in my lower back. So when I learned that there's a large vein back there that <laughs> deals with 
blood flow and there's organs that are getting smashed. And so now I strictly lay on my left. Having that be the only position to sleep in is definitely a struggle. Alrighty, so this here is my U-shaped pregnancy pillow. Um, this has definitely come in handy because in the beginning of my pregnancy, I was having quite a bit of back pain. And then we ended up buying a new mattress we had been meaning to, and so we finally got one. I think it's the Casper Hybrid mattress. I don't even have any back pain, like no back pain at all. I also use all of the pillows here on the bed to help create this like comfy nest so that I could sleep at night. Um, let me show you the positions that I do sleep in. Okay, so I'm gonna move the big pillows. I'm gonna need this later. Uh, and normally this pillow setup would be under the covers, but I'm not gonna move that. But I take this pillow here and I lean it at an angle. This is used later on. This pillow here is used later on for um, a, a different sleeping position. I'll show you guys. Um, but I pull this up here and the pregnancy pillow, at least the head part, lays flat on the bed. I do prefer a flatter pillow when I'm sleeping. And then I take this bigger pillow here and I lay it here and my legs wrap around this white pillow. And then the sides of the pregnancy pillow hug the sides of my body. So these big pillows are super useful because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean this against the bed. And the reason for that is because some nights, if I didn't have these pillows here, what would happen is the this at this side of the pregnancy pillow would fall off the bed like that. And so what happens naturally in the middle of the night is I will change position, right? If I'm on my left side, I will move and lay on my back. And so I want this side of the pregnancy pillow to be hugging me because what will happen... Hi! Hello! You're probably like, who the heck are you talking to? Um, so what will happen is I will change position naturally while I'm sleeping. I will move from my left to my back. And so I want to, when I'm moving to my back, I want my back to land on this side of the pillow so that my back is angled. So it's totally fine to sleep on your back if you're sleeping at an angle. You just don't wanna sleep flat on your back um, because I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but when you are sleeping on your back, that's like a big no-no because there's so much pressure like the baby on your spine. That is the first position that I sleep in. So like I said, I have the large pillows here on the side and they really do um, prevent this side of the pregnancy pillow from falling off the bed. The pillow formation that I just showed you is meant for when I'm sleeping on my left hand side and for when I accidentally roll onto my back. Um, and then I'm gonna show you the second pillow formation that I do set up for myself in the middle of the night. Cause sleeping in this, um, in this setup right here, I can only stay in that one position for maybe three or four hours. And then I gotta like switch things up. So earlier I set this flat pillow here against the headboard at an angle. And this happens in the middle of the night. So when I'm setting this up, I'm like half asleep, half awake. And so I take my pregnancy pillow and I pull it like this. And I lean it against that pillow. Here, let me change 
so that you guys can see. There we go. And then I take the pillow that I had in between my legs and I lean it like this. So in the middle of the night, I will change to this pillow formation and I get to lay on my back. <laughs> oh, see, that's like so comfortable. So, oh gosh, my camera. It's, I'm not in focus. Oh, oh, oh please focus, okay. And it feels so good. It feels so good to sleep on my back. Like I said earlier, I am at an angle, so there isn't like pressure on my spine. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. It actually is just really freeing just to have my belly like like this versus being on my side. Um, and then what feels really good is placing one of those big pillows I had on the side of the bed under my legs. So my legs are like somewhat elevated. Um, and then sometimes I even like move my legs like this and it just feels so good to have all of this space here like babies just feeling super free <laughs> and so yeah i sometimes move to this position in the middle of the night and i fall asleep like this hi <laughs> hi banana <laughs> hi cutie no don't bite me don't bite me I'm not playing i'm just snoozing <laughs> Anywho, um, I'm going to make lunch. I have a couple of things that I need to do today that have to deal with baby. Um, I actually need to set up an appointment to tour the hospital I'm going to be giving birth at. I need to set that up for sometime next week. And then I also, um, there's something else that I need to do. Oh, I need to find a pediatrician. I have my 32 week appointment today later on in a couple of hours and i have a feeling she's going to ask me if i've found a pediatrician and so i'm going to do some research i'm going to narrow it down to the ones that have good reviews and accept our health insurance and i'm super excited for today's doctor's appointment because we get an ultrasound so we get to see the baby <laughs> i'm so excited it's like I just like can't wait to meet him. It just still doesn't feel real yet. Even though I have this swollen belly, I it just doesn't feel real that there's gonna be a little one in this household in the next two months.